NextGen is an advanced hydraulic simulation application that lets you create a virtual model of your gas or liquid pipeline and operate the virtual model as you would the actual pipeline. Interconnected networks of gathering, transmission, and distribution pipelines transporting natural gas, CO2, hydrogen, crude oil, water, processed water, or any other gas or liquid mixture can be modeled. NextGen can calculate pressures, flow rates, temperatures, and track properties as the gas or liquid travels down the pipeline and mixes with other streams. NextGen supports five types of hydraulic simulation within the same interface, and users can simply switch tabs to go from one simulation type to another. Steady-state simulations assume conditions do not change over time. Sequential is for long-term, time-based forecasting simulations, typically used for storage analysis, well-decline modeling, or construction scheduling. Transient predictive is for short-term, time-based simulations, typically used for design and operational analysis. Transient online simulations remain connected to a SCADA system and run continuously, mimicking the actual pipeline. Transient look-ahead simulations are auto-launched at pre-scheduled times from the online simulation, for example hourly, or at each nomination cycle. Pipeline models can be created by importing available GIS data, and smart connectivity algorithms and editors used to fine-tune the model. Or, models can also be manually built using NextGen's model build tools. Compressor or pump stations can be treated as block horsepower elements, or use the station editor to add detailed compressor or pump units to the station in parallel and series configurations. Multiple detailed centrifugal and reciprocating unit types are available, and optimization routines can select what units to run and how to run them. Import operational data, such as pressures, supplies, and deliveries, and other properties from Excel. And use the built-in editors to fine-tune the data and set knowns and unknowns. Multiple model elements are supported, pipes, compressor or pump stations, regulators, valves, check valves, process plants, flow meters, wells, storage fields, tanks, and chillers. A facility library and compressor or pump unit library can be created and shared among users to store pre-configured, commonly used elements so that you can then easily add them to new or existing models. Multiple methods of defining supplies and deliveries at nodes or meters are supported, supply, delivery, bidirectional, degree day dependent load, pressure dependent load, flare, direct vent, well or rupture. Add text to the map either manually, or using the Smart Auto Text tool, which automatically assigns map text to higher priority locations. What text is displayed, all fonts, sizes, and colors are all fully customizable. By default, models are created in the Steady State section where you can simply press the Run button to calculate all unknown flows, pressures, and gas or liquid properties throughout the system. Use the map and available reports to view the results of the simulation. Create custom map views to quickly jump from one important area of the system to another. Built-in reports can be fully customized or create additional user-defined report tabs. Use the report creator to create customized reports with data and graphics. Pre-built system units such as SI or US can be used and customized, or create your own user-defined system units. Select from different view layouts or drag, drop and dock components to create your own custom layout with multiple monitors. You can even modify the interface look and feel. Or switch languages and add your own custom language translations. Next-gen steady-state models are time-aware, and you can create time-based schedules to automatically take effect at the appropriate time, or use data source module connections to auto-import data from databases when the snapshot time is changed. 
multiple steady-state scenarios, which are full copies of the simulation but with different snapshot times and or operating conditions, can be created or auto-create multiple scenarios in a single step from an Excel spreadsheet. You can even auto-create multiple scenarios from Excel, run all of them, and then export selected results back out to Excel, all in a single step. To speed up multi-scenario runs, up to eight run engines can run in parallel to solve scenarios. Once the model is built in the steady state section, additional time-based simulation sections can be activated. The schedule editor is used to manually enter in changes in loads or other set points over time. Schedules can also be imported from Excel spreadsheets. Once the simulation is launched, results are calculated and displayed as the simulation progresses. We can pause and restart the simulation, or rewind and replay as needed. We can also pause and make interactive changes, as the simulation proceeds. As with Steady State, we can use the Scenario Manager to create multiple scenarios, where each scenario is its own independent simulation. And as with Steady State, we can also auto-create scenarios from Excel, run all of them, and export results, all in a single step, using multiple run engines. Multiple scenarios with different durations, varying load profiles, and different operating conditions can be modeled. Interactive changes made by a user during a simulation are automatically stored as schedules so they can be re-implemented during replays. A sophisticated schedule editor can be used to view and edit interactive schedules and lets you manually create or import additional schedules. Individual schedules can be enabled or disabled, as well as organized into schedule groups, which can also be quickly enabled or disabled. Schedules can also be grouped into a scheduled event, for example, store all operational steps needed to reverse flow in a pipeline over a six-hour period as an event, and then the entire event can be scheduled. Once configured properly, a transient online simulation will remain connected to a SCADA system, and the online simulation will run in real time and stay synchronized with the actual pipeline. Leak and rupture detection technology continuously analyzes anomalies in the data, and in many cases can identify potential leaks or ruptures before they become obvious to operators. The online section also automatically tunes pipeline efficiencies and other parameters as the simulation progresses, so that the simulation model closely matches actual pipeline performance. While the online simulation is useful for monitoring current conditions, operators typically also want to know what is going to happen in the near future. Questions such as, is my line pack going to be okay 12 hours from now based on currently forecasted loads and weather patterns? Or what is going to happen when a unit scheduled for maintenance goes down in 6 hours? This is where the transient look ahead section comes in and multiple revolving transient simulations that are auto-launched at pre-scheduled intervals can be set up, with data automatically imported from nominations, forecasted loads, and outages databases. All five simulation sections in NextGen can operate concurrently, so that as the online simulation runs continuously, and the look-ahead section auto-launches simulations, you can also interactively edit and launch transient predictive simulations, or go into the steady state section and make steady state runs. While NextGen can quickly import and export data with Excel, and the record editor and schedule editor can be used to modify set points, NextGen also supports several types of data source modules. Data source modules act as intermediaries between NextGen and databases or SCADA systems and are supported in steady state, sequential, and all three transient sections. Each scenario in any simulation section can have its own distinct group of import data connections to bring needed data in from databases or SCADA and export data connections to send results out. NextGen can be run in single user mode on a single machine or installed on multiple network connected machines. Projects and models can be defined as public or private 
and with applicable permissions, users running their own sessions of NextGen can communicate with each other. They can open or download each other's public models, view ongoing simulations, or even transfer simulation control to one another and chat with each other. NextGen also offers several optional modules that are seamlessly integrated into NextGen. The Trainer module is used to train pipeline operators by letting them run through training scenarios and use their own SCADA HMI to control a virtual pipeline as they would the actual pipeline. The Pipeline Efficiency Auto-Tune module will quickly fine-tune pipeline efficiencies, even for very large LDC pipelines, so that pressures in a model match actual field pressures on the pipeline. For cases where exact loads on an LDC system may not be immediately available, but current pressures at select locations are, the Auto-Tune module for LDC loads will fine-tune deliveries throughout the system to better reflect current load conditions. The Loads Planning module helps LDCs to ensure that all delivery locations stay above their respective minimum delivery pressures, and predicts load losses during cases of outages or other emergency situations such as line ruptures. Built-in optimization tools can be used to isolate regions and minimize disruptions in service. The Portable Natural Gas module lets you model locations where portable natural gas tanks are available to supplement supplies to an LDC system and helps predict when they need to be activated during outages or emergencies in which normal supplies are disrupted. The PIG and Inline Tool module models PIGs and Inline Tools traveling down the pipeline and is used to set up operations to maintain desired velocities and predict when and where the PIG or inline tool is at all times during the run. The Well Analysis module imports historical data for up to several tens of thousands of oil or gas wells and derives decline coefficients for each well or groups of wells that can then be used to forecast production rates. The Loads Forecaster module uses historical data and regression analysis, neural nets, and genetic algorithms to predict loads, and the Loads Generator module uses historical data to derive degree day coefficients to predict them. The Scripting and Automation module contains a built-in rapid application development environment to let users create custom automated solutions that closely integrate pipeline simulation into other enterprise business and financial processes. The Economic Analysis module lets you track construction costs, operating costs, and even revenues for a pipeline system. When combined with hydraulic modeling, this feature can be invaluable in estimating the cost and profitability of new pipelines, proposed pipeline expansions, and proposed contracts. The Greenhouse Gas and Emissions module works in tandem with NextGen's hydraulic modeling features to calculate, track, and predict pollutant emissions and greenhouse gas emissions for natural gas pipeline systems. These emissions can originate from fuel combustion, flaring of gas, and maintenance blowdowns, purges, or leaks. Potential carbon taxes and emission fees can also be calculated and forecast. These add-on modules add powerful functionality to the built-in simulation features of NextGen. NextGen is truly an all-in-one pipeline simulation package and provides pipeline companies with a powerful tool to help design and operate their systems safely, efficiently, and profitably.